Fox News Alert now. An explosive hearing on the IRS targeting of conservative groups, and that is where we start now here on HQ. I'm Bill Hemmer. Great to see you, Bill. I'm Allison Camerata. Republicans outraged to learn of a reported email linking former IRS official Lois Lerner to new rules used to clamp down on Tea Party groups, and that the targeting may still be going on. So here's some of today's testimony. The President of the United States can go on national television on a day when a lot of people watch television and say, quote, there's not a smidgen of corruption in the IRS targeting scandal. So we thought what we do today is allow people who were victimized by the Internal Revenue Service to come tell their story. These are occurring while the IRS was subjecting me to multiple rounds of abusive inquiries with requests to provide every Facebook and Twitter I'd ever posted questions about my political aspirations and demands to know the names of groups that I'd spoken with, the content of what I'd said, and everywhere I intended to speak in the coming year. This scandal is not over. The lying has not stopped. I represent one Tea Party group, Tea Party Patriots, who applied in December of 2010. They still don't have their C4 status. Who gave the IRS the authority to say this, and how is it that the President of the United States can say there's not a smidgen of corruption? So how can the President say there's not a smidgen of criminality when Lois Lerner invoked the Fifth Amendment, 41 witnesses haven't been interviewed, including the two that are here right now? How can he possibly draw that conclusion? Congressman Mark Meadows was at today's hearing. The North Carolina Republican joins us now. Congressman, thanks for being here. Uh, Thank you, Allison. Tell us what you learned today that was new. Well, you know, when we started to hear it, it was the fact that it's still going on, that targeting is still happening today. But the other more troubling thing is, is that we've supposedly had this investigation that the, it's been complete. The president says not a smidgen of evidence, and yet they haven't been interviewed. So how can we have a verdict without going through the process? And, Congressman, what you're referring to, of course, is the president's interview with Bill O'Reilly, in which he said unequivocally there was no corruption. You quoted him. He said there was not a smidgen of corruption. So how could he have said that so definitively when, to your mind, the investigation isn't over? Well, obviously, he's been misinformed. It's, it's typical uh, of uh, bureaucracy here in Washington, D.C., where we get the talking point out there without the evidence being behind it. And really, we need to investigate this further. There was even calls today for perhaps a, a special prosecutor to look into this, but we have an oversight responsibility, a responsibility of the American people to get to the bottom of it. What are you trying to find out? Because, you know, the president has basically suggested, as have Democrats, that you're beating a dead horse. There's no there there. What are you really trying to find out? Well, we have to restore trust in the American government. And, and it was obvious today in that hearing room that not only is there not trust, but it, it's under, underlying the, the very fabric of who we are as a nation with free speech, asking who you've talked to, what speeches have you given, give us the text of that. Uh, it's just not the America that we all love and adore. But, but hold on, let me stop you there, because these emails that have come to light now that were sent to Lois Lerner seem to suggest that they were trying to figure out if the Tea Party, tea party group were acting as a political organization because if they were, they were not eligible for 501c4 status because that's reserved for social welfare organizations. So wasn't it incumbent upon the IRS to ask all those questions of Tea Party groups? You know, when you start to get into the, the details of what was asked, uh, the answer to that is no. What happened is, as we heard today, is, is that there were some liberal groups that were asked the same questions, supposedly, but far fewer, and all of them were approved. And yet the conservative groups were, were asked over and over detailed questions that were intimate details that certainly the IRS uh, shouldn't have uh, rights to, to ask about. What do you want? Where will you go from here? Who do you want? To interview, how will you get to the bottom of you, the investigation that you want? Well, certainly in, in uh, highlighting some of the emails that have come out recently, we know that they're trying to change this 501c4 rule uh, to really correspond with the, the ruling uh, so that targeting didn't happen. Well, I think we need to fight that because it stifles free speech. It goes against the Constitution. And we need to stand up and hold our government accountable. That's what the people want. Congressman Mark Meadows, thanks so much for giving us the uh, debrief on what happened today. For more Thank on you the so much.